Hi guys, it's Elena. And Michelle. You might be confused because this is a Friday and I usually post on Mondays, but it's also February. And you know what that means? It's flower, flower fe- February. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we say something. <laughs> Should we try again? And you know what that means? It's flower, flower February. February. So we're going to do every Friday and also Mondays, all flowers. Starting with this gorgeous gem, what is it? Can you tell? Can you guess? No. Diagnose it. <laughs> I thought that was the name at first. <laughs> I don't know very many flowers. I want to say like a pansy. Ooh, close. Petunia? Yes! yes! <laughs> Got it in two. <laughs> Got it in tunia. So yeah, I made eight different flowers and you guys are going to get them one by one. And it's funny because like looking up, you know what, I didn't. I need to do some more research before each of these episodes, but I can remember that petunias, they have a flower meaning that's kind of negative. I feel like it's something like um, resentment or something like that. And it's just kind of interesting because I think that the meaning for lilies is something like really pure and nice. And so, <laughs> it's, yeah, I'm just thinking like you named your daughters and you probably were thinking about flower meanings and you just chose like oh, this one's going to be the awful daughter. I just know it. And this one's going to be so wonderful. (laughs) Anyway, it's weird um, realizing that, like, so many girls in the Harry Potter um, books are named after flowers, even ones that I wouldn't have thought were flower names. Like, I didn't know Myrtle was a flower, Mm. but it is. And so is Angelica. That's a flower name. Oh. So just lots of them. Say more. Well, um... (laughs) Do, do some research. Those only those were the obscure ones, because okay. <laughs> we also we know pansy, but we also know that's a flower. That's true. That's yeah. just a commonplace flower, and um, yeah, I don't think the flowers I've made for this month were any character names. Although um, the one for Monday, I think that one is gonna be Rue, if I remember Ooh. right, and that is Hunger Games. <laughs> <laughs> that was my thought, but I was like, I don't want to say that because that's probably not the line she's going. <laughs> I let you embarrass yourself instead. If I thank you, I appreciate it. In honor of Flower February, I was wondering, have you ever received flowers in a special way? Because I can think of two examples for me. Well, my husband got me flowers. That's the only person. (laughs) Yeah, he, he sent me flowers for... Wait, he sent you flowers when you guys were still long distance, didn't he? Oh, yeah. I can't remember if it was my birthday or... Christmas. I think it was, I think maybe it was both. Ooh. I don't remember now. <laughs> He's given me flowers a few times. I like flowers, but I don't like how fast they die. Yeah. So I had to tell him no more flowers because it's just, you only have them for like, what, three days and then you had to throw them away and it's sad. Yeah. Totes. That... Oh, but he got me um, Lego flowers for Mother's Day. <laughs> I forgot about time. that. And yeah. now they're up on the mantle. Clever. All the time. Clever guy. <laughs> Um, yeah, that is one of my special ones ties in with like how they die pretty quickly is Emma, you know, Emma, Mm -hmm. she sent me that dried bouquet one Mm -hmm. year. It was like two or three years ago and I still have them and they're just perfect. And it was saying that they're only supposed to last for a few years, like maybe three or four, but like, I don't think they're anywhere close to being done. And it says like, you just dust them a little bit if they need it, but I don't dust it with what? Um, care and love. (laughs) Do with kisses? <laughs> I think maybe like a really gentle damp cloth. Maybe huh. not even that. I don't know. I, I threw out the instructions. Oh, but... like a feather duster. Like dust them. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> you, yeah, you dust them with fairy dust. You went full Amelia Bedelia. <laughs> you mean undust them. <laughs> yeah. Undust the furniture. <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, that was um, that was a gift from Emma. And then last year for my birthday, she got me a necklace that has a daffodil on it. So that's basically a bouquet. Mm-hmm. Um, and I haven't made daffodil yet. That was another one. <laughs> <laughs> no, Draco's mom is named Narcissa, uh-huh. and that is another name for daffodil. Oh, what More about you know? Bellatrix? Is that another name? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure that that would have to be a constellation, because it seemed like of the family that it's like what if she drinks super loud right now and I have to cut out the audio <laughs> anyway but I was I, trying to drink really quietly <laughs> you, you did and I couldn't keep my cool 
Anyway, um, but yeah, I think that of the family they were born into, most of the people are named after, like Sirius and Draco and stuff, like they have um, constellation names. Yes. Um, so I think that... Yes, they do. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that Bellatrix must be a constellation, but given that her sister is named after a flower, it, maybe Narcissa also is a constellation as well? Or, I don't know. Yeah. It's a good question. It warrants investigation. I'm not going to Google it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um... I also received flowers once from two of our brothers. They, as like a last minute thing, they like got me tulips and they also each probably had like a single dollar in their pocket. So I got tulips and two dollars from them. Aww, cute. <laughs> and I still have the two dollars in my little memory box thing. Which brothers? Our two that are closest in age to us. There's no other way to explain <laughs> it. <laughs> oh. I've never given names. Um, Kevin Rye. <laughs> I knew already. You <laughs> answered it. <laughs> just in case. Just in case you weren't sure. <laughs> oh, stoops. <laughs> okay, let's see. I had another thought on my mind. Okay, because these don't get posted. Like, we record our voiceovers about a month in advance. Um, so for us, it was just Christmas um, a little while ago. And it was kind of a weird day because we changed out my sink like for a, few, oh gosh. <laughs> for a few hours on that day and it's like Michelle has changed out kitchen sinks before but there was just this extra component to the bathroom sink that was just a little bit we weren't expecting it and so it took a few hours and we had to turn off the water for the house which I don't think you always have to do necessarily but it was kind of stressful because we were also going to be making dinner, like a lot of stuff from scratch. And it was like, all right, there are a lot of vegetables to wash, but we don't have the water on yet because we just need to finish the sink. Yeah. Because if we turn the water on now, nothing is installed yet. So um, I would just be drowning the house. Yes. <laughs> so it was, it was fine. <laughs> But, but we did finish it to yeah. perfection. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Shell was like Googling things. She just learned a lot. It was super impressive. And it was saying stuff about, like, oh, you could hire a handyman to do this for a few hundred dollars. It's like, we don't need that. We have a handy shell. <laughs> Profe- oh, sh- prof- shell uh, what did I yeah. say? Oh, yeah. A, um, prof- professional, and, hmm, professional installation. Yes. <laughs> this is better written. <laughs> it was, uh, yeah. Read the word. I'll type it out. <laughs> Everyone will read the captions. They yes. have to read the captions to tell our voices apart. <laughs> So yeah, it was mostly burn watching the kids, but it was fine because they had just opened up all their new stuff, mm-hmm. and they, like, I think they were most excited at that day about, like, the walkie-talkies, and then the cameras, yes. <laughs> and um, there was this one moment I keep on thinking about with Felicity and the cameras, it, I realize we haven't talked about this flower, <laughs> the modeling at all. <laughs> I'm oh, well. watching it. You see it, you can see it, it's happening, it's cute, gay. <laughs> Anyway, but there was this moment with Felicity where it's like she was just taking pictures of everything. The camera had like a lot of, like it has a lot of space on it. But there was this one part where it's like we were watching a Christmas movie when it was getting later at night and she was like, <laughs> like taking pictures sporadically throughout the thing. And then we were like, all right, just one more picture and then just watch it. And she's like, okay, I'll save it for my favorite part. <laughs> and, like it like gets to this part. It's really sad and like solemn and all this. And we just hear a little click. <laughs> Felicity, this is your favorite part. <laughs> so yeah, it was cute. It was a good gift. Oh, okay. Another talking point is um, I keep like hinting to Michelle that I started watching a show and I'm not telling her anything about it because I kept on wanting to save it for a voiceover recording. Mm-hmm. But um, the show... Do we have enough time for it? Let's see. This recording's been going on about 10 minutes. Yeah, we have five more minutes. Okay. So I finally started watching and then finished watching Blue Eye Samurai. Oh, I think I told you a little about it, and I just said it was intriguing, and I avoided watching it for a while because I assumed, and I assumed correctly, that it is really good, and I didn't really want to put it down, but it's like, I just, that, like, I was able to consistently walk for, like, a week straight, and I made sure to because that's the only time that I watch TV, <laughs> so. Is it an anime? It's kind of an anime. It's like, I, I'm pretty sure it's CG, um, like, 3D stuff, but also it looks kind of hand-drawn, kind of Spider-Verse style. Hmm. Like, they just, everyone is learning as an industry and just making really cool-looking stuff, so it has some anime elements to it. It looks really good. It's a cool story. Even the, like, the first episode, I think, was, like, a whole hour long, and I feel like I would have just been fine with that. Like, that's, like, a whole movie. It was so good. In the first episode, we even get 
a Rock Lee moment where it's like we see that this person like when they were younger put on some like weights to help train and it's like there wasn't a strong indication that that was a practice that was kept up or anything but at some point like they lost a fight it seemed but then we just hear like a clang clang and it's like (laughs) ah like here it comes it's a Rock Lee moment it's like even if it's been done before it's like it's still a good moment (laughs) so yeah oh gosh and then another thing this is spoiler alert, by the way. But it's kind of funny because there is this one character who, like, we meet our main character as, like, a really proficient samurai or, like, just, like, good with swords. And, and then we come to know of this other character who who seems really pompous and it's like, oh, he's a super good swordsman and, like, no one can beat him. And it's like, you just know, oh, as soon as our main character sees him, then, like, that guy's going to get beat. Like, our main character is super cool. And so um, that happens and I kind of thought it was just going to be like, okay, he's, like, just brush him off, this dude that was beat. Like, we don't care anymore. But it's like this person sticks around for the rest of the season and is, like, really adamant that they have another duel and it's like no one like, like no one can beat you until I beat you and like that wasn't fair like that wasn't a an official duel so like we got to redo this and um I don't know it's like there were moments where our main character is going into kind of like dire scenarios and this person ends up becoming like BFFs with them like hmm. no because you can't die until I kill you <laughs> but it's like friendship <laughs> Anyway, so it was a good show. I would recommend it, but also, like, I don't know, I've I've heard a lot of people compare it to Game of Thrones because there's a lot of, like, sex and violence and stuff, and I don't know. Like, I wouldn't want you to be watching one of those scenes and be like, so this is what Elena wanted me specifically to watch. Interesting. (laughs) She made me watch it. (laughs) So if you want to watch it of your own free will, I feel like Verm would like it. And because you guys have watched Game of Thrones together, I don't think it'd be super weird. But yeah, it was a good show. I like the warning. (laughs) I'll consider it. Okay. I'm just drawing this petunia now. Oh. (laughs) You should put a tiny little bee. A little bee. I could make a bee. I know I'm going to make a cat bus soon, Eric. (laughs) (laughs) Thanks to your muse. (laughs) It's not in the works yet, but it will be pretty darn soon. I just need to get into the draw of it. I had another question that relates to flowers. We don't have time. <sighs> don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, wait. Also, I, I think that this day I'm posting it is February 2nd. So that is Eric's birthday. Happy birthday, Eric. Yeah, happy birthday. I'll get he you a watches your videos. Yeah, he does. Or at least he pretends to. He watches the first bit. We'll see if he you know, yeah. watches all of it. Eric specifically, all the Eric's who are watching, comment if you've gotten this far. <laughs> I'll be watching. <laughs> I'll be comment watching the... with the word... Um, cat B to make sure you've really been paying attention okay (laughs) (laughs) but I was wondering do you have a favorite flower gosh um I think orchids are really pretty ooh orchids but I guess standard rose always does it tulips Mm. I mean I could name every flower every flower (laughs) that I know I think is just something that I like yeah so roses and tulips orchids yeah good answer yeah I don't think I have an answer. I wouldn't remember the name of them if I didn't like them, I think. Totes. What are those ones called? No, I'm just kidding. I don't know. Yeah, like, I'm curious to know if I'll... Because, like, for each of these little videos that I've sent you so we can do our voiceovers, I'm keeping the names of the flowers off just so that we can, like, Mm. guess in the moment. I like it. (laughs) So, like, I know I really like the look of Hellebore, which is coming up in a a couple of weeks, maybe. But um, I hope I can remember what it looks like when I see it fresh. (laughs) We'll see. And there's another one. The very last one I'll be posting this month is going to be a Gloxinia. I don't even know. Look forward to it. (laughs) Ta-da! Look what I did. Michelle? (laughs) Well, thank you for watching. If if your name is not Eric and you got this far, then comment with um, your favorite flower. And maybe I'll do it some other time in 2020 flu. Oh, I like it. (laughs) (laughs) All right, see you next time. See ya. Bye. Oh.